Hey guys, what's up? It's Nisha. Welcome back to my channel. So, Diwali is just around the corner. I'm pretty sure that everybody of you are busy in decorating your rooms, making mithais and saaf safai. And if you are decorating your room and thinking of some DIYs which you can make like on your own to decorate your rooms. So, I have three DIYs. Yes, I have three DIYs for you which you can definitely um use to decorate your room this season, this Diwali season. and i hope you will like it if you do then don't forget to like share comment subscribe subscribe please do subscribe because it will help me to grow as a youtuber and what else can be better than that yaar aise dekh ke mat chale jao yaar subscribe kar lo kya jata hai nayi nayi ho thoda encourage karo and yeah that's about it so for the first diy which is to decorate the yaar you will need a brush some stones a fabric color i am using a fabric color of silver color but you can use anything you have a glitter tube and a dia obviously so the first thing i'm going to do is to paint the dia silver you can use any paint you want any color you want and let's fast forward it After the completion of uh, painting the dia, all you need to do is to stick uh, some stones. I got these from local store. You can even get this from any local store. After that, I'm gonna take another sticker stone and place it on the bottom of the dia. Now this one is a colorful stone. And this is how the dia looks like after everything. After the completion of decorating the dia, you need to take the glue glitter and put it around the dia, like on the top of the dia. And yeah, that's about it. Let it dry. And this is how the dia looks like. For the second DIY, you will need cardboard, foam paper, glitters, glue, scissor, and a pen or pencil. take the piece of cardboard and cut the cardboard into the size of the foam paper my foam paper was really small so i had to measure it and then cut it out for the dia rangoli we need to take a compass and draw a semicircle on the cardboard and cut it down using a scissor or a cutter whatever you want and that's what i'm doing and then i actually thought uh, thought that i will go with the black foam paper but then i changed and i went on with the brown one and that's what i'm going to take the non glitter part of the foam sheet and paste the semicircle onto it uh, with the help of fevicol and cut it down
and this is how it looks like with the same technique cut the flame of the diya and stick it with cardboard paper and cut out the excess i'm sorry i could not find the clip of mine putting those uh, circular the uh, circular stones on the edges of the diya but i know you can do it and then i'm using those leaf uh, stones and putting it with the help of fevicol now this is how the flame of the diya looks like after completion of the main decoration part and now i'm figuring out what to do in the middle section and that's what i'm doing i am thinking of making a flower and now i'm taking a stone and putting it in the middle of the flame and with the fevicol i will stick all my blue leaves blue leaves like stones whatever you want to say and putting it on the middle of the flame and this is how the diya rangoli looks like and it will look awesome if you keep it on the floor of your home this diya where you will need some artificial flowers some beads which i got from rakhi and a needle and a thread now this part might looks a bit tricky but it's not trust me uh, you just need to have a sequence in your mind that okay i want this bead in first and this to be in the between and this to be in the last and that's what i'm doing i have a mind i have a sequence in my mind that okay i want the blue one first and then the pink one and then the green one and i just made this this is really simple and i got these beads from rakhi by the way so if you have rakhi lying around in your home um then go grab them and cut them take those beads from it and make these things like make or be creative do anything with it you can even make bracelet with it if you like to wear bracelet uh, which is made up of beads and all you can do that and yeah that's what i'm doing now if your beads have two holes just like my one then you need to uh, first put the thread like first put the needle from under like under the uh, bead and then take that from above the bead and put it into the second hole i hope that makes sense so this is what i am doing and this is how i am putting my thread like my needle and thread through the flowers if you want you can use this technique and that's what i'm doing again putting those beads onto the thread and that latkan and that blue one and again this big one and that's all this is really simple and really quick but you might uh, need some time to go through those beads but that's i think that's really okay it looks adorable and it looks awesome like when someone will come to your home and say oh ye kisne banaya and then your mother will proudly say ye meri beti ne ya bete ne banaya hai this is really cool even everything is cool all you need to do is to create